Hello, folk. Welcome back to Internet Animal Content. I'm your host, Justin, and I love reality TV. I mean, any type of reality TV. Tila Tequila, Flavor of Love, I Love New York, other shows about love. But this whole video started the other day when my friend sent me an article. Man mauled by Black Leopard after paying for full contact experience. I mean, it sounds like he got what he paid for, but what was more interesting was that in this article at the very bottom, they had a link to a YouTube video that was called Exotic Animal Pilot at my house for my reality show. So of course I had to take a look at this guy's channel, and he's got a bunch of more recent videos about him interviewing people who are buying monkeys off him, but I just made a video about monkeys, and honestly, I don't have the time or patience to make another video like that. I'm also out of fake blood. So I just thought we would sit down, kick back, relax this episode, and we would just watch this one video, and we're just gonna talk about it as we go. So let's jump into it. into it. After this very 90s opening intro sequence, we get introduced to the main character, Michael. Who is kind of the founder of the whole channel and business. And we're filming our show, Extraordinary Exotic Animals. Come on in and let me show you around of how I live. And then we also get to meet his brother, Pete. This is my brother, Peter Foggy. Hi, how are you? And we get this amazing shot at the very start. Did nobody give Pete any directions except for stand there uncomfortably and maybe take this monkey from me. Michael shows us just how amazing he is around his animals, just how comfortable and tame he's made them. Uh, she's very tame. She never bites anybody. I raised her from a bottle, so she never bites anybody. A... He takes us outside and he introduces us to another one of his animals, a blind iguana. And uh, sure enough, we named him Bliny. He is a savant when it comes to animal names. And then Mike hits us with this. I want to come out to your house and see what kind of exotic animals you have. I, I do not want you to come to my house. Please don't come to my house. Next up, he brings us over to his wild, wild African, African raven's, raven's cage. cage. And I'm all geared up just in case because I don't know what's going to happen. He's just wearing a long sleeve shirt and like some normal gardening gloves. That's not really being geared up to go in, but you okay. okay. Oh, he got his pizza. Now he's happy. I'm sorry, what? Oh, he got his pizza. You feed your raven pizza? It's not a Ninja Turtle, dude! Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Hey, what else can we give him to play with? How about, uh, how about my brother Pete? What do you say, Pete? How about you? Are you sure you don't want to come in here and try it out? Buddy, this time I think I'm going to pass. I'm not going to come in that game. Now he brings us over to try to find that vulture I was looking for earlier. And he just starts digging through the bushes to find it. And then he says this. The cage was left open. The lynx is out. We got a problem. A lynx got out? Your fences are not high enough to keep a lynx in. If a lynx got out in that yard, that lynx is gone. But let's keep this in mind, right? Because this is this is probably just like the B plot, right? It's gonna be one of these things that gets resolved by the end of the episode. <laughs> I love this shot too. I think they just ran in a circle. I'm not sure they actually went anywhere. Oh. I wonder why this didn't get picked up by network TV. So after they show us a couple more animals, and Pete is a very brave boy. She's not gonna bite me like the last one, is she? No. Are you safe to hold this one? Go, Pete. She just peed on you. They move inside where we get to see this super serum that he's feeding to his marmosets. It has all kinds of super ingredients in it so that she grows up fast and healthy. And once she's done, then she likes to sleep for most of the day, kind of like you. Uh, don't do my man Pete like that, okay? He's doing his best. And the babies grow up within about a year, they're able to have babies again. So as long as they're hand-fed like this, we should be okay. If they're not hand-fed, then they're not too handleable. This is a really interesting point that he makes, because if this thing is so young that it needs to be bottle-fed, it raises the question, where are its parents? Now they obviously sell them, of course. Like I sell cattle, they make it easy money. You just rustle them up, jam them full of food. When they're breeding age, you get them pumping out more, and on and on it goes. Did you see that guy too? I think I'm maybe just starting to hallucinate a little bit. This is kind of getting to me. Let's just keep watching. Yeah, she does pee a lot. She takes after her father. What am I doing with my life? We're going to take some time out to relax for a few minutes. Honestly, I could go for this. I could just kick back relax, listen to this guy, answer a couple of questions that we've got. First off, let's go ahead and answer a few of the questions that are on your mind. Why the fuck am I watching this? 
It is perfectly legal to have these animals in your home. Primate owners love to tell you about how legal it is for them to own their primates. That's very important that they inform you that what they are doing is legal. A bottle-fed animal is usually going to be very, very, very tame. Do you bottle feed that leopard? One day, I might be coming to your house to ask you the same questions. Please don't come to my house. I, I, don't, I don't want you to come to my house. I want animals that I can keep, train, and love, and give back. Give back to nature and so on. What does that mean? What does that even mean? If anybody understands what that means, please explain it to me. And one of these days, I'm going to be coming around to your neighborhood and hopefully filming what, what you do and the animals that you love, just like this. Please don't come to my house. Please, I, I please do not come to my house, Michael. Uh, yeah, I've got a little ketchup in here, a little mustard in here and stuff like that. But we also have some dead rats and mice in here. At this point in the video, I have no idea if he's actually offering us a dead mouse or not. Um, there's something I'm forgetting. Let's see, I have um, I have the mice. Oh, let's, 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 see, let's see what my brother's up to. Let's find Pete. Yes, yes, finally, let us bring back Pete. Right, nothing dangerous this time. No, nothing. I promise you. I promise. Uh, this time for sure. This is a ta this is a tame animal. No, just tickle her. She likes to be tickled underneath her chest. She likes you a little bit. Oops. Pete. 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 Come on. You just came back. Have some self respect. Don't let your brother boss you around like this, Pete. We stand, Pete. Let me do your bites around this place. All right, we're gonna go inside here. We have a black leopard, about six months old, and it's still a little feisty. Yeah, she's, she's pretty tame, as you can see. She's taking a chunk out of my arm. Yes, she is very tame. She took a big chunk out of your arm, but she is very tame. Now we cut back to the lynx, and I assume that this is the lynx that was escaped, but they never explained that they caught it or anything like that. So as far as we know, that other lynx is still at large, and this is just a different lynx that he happens to have at his house. You got a new stuffed animal? It's a little calmer inside, right? A little calmer inside, absolutely. So you're saying that this is the leopard that mauled the dude? Ah, who would have guessed? So she spends her time attacking every single thing she can get her hands on. Oh God, if only somebody could have predicted that something bad would have happened. There's been times where she'll just take a bite out of my couch, and that's no fun. I mean, better your couch than a customer, right? Oh, I apologize, sorry about that. Is there anything here that doesn't bite? No, pretty much, pretty much everything here is pretty tame, like I told you. Mike seems very confident that these animals are totally safe to interact with. He like gaslights Pete into thinking that Pete is absurd for asking that if these animals are safe to be around when they have clearly proven that they're not safe to be around. We'll see you again next time on the Extraordinary Exotic Animal Show. And that's it. That's how they leave it. They We never find out about that escaped lynx, like what's going on with that. I'm left with a lot more questions than I have answers. I had a blast watching this. In fact, I am so inspired by watching this, I decided that I think I can do my own reality show. So, I filmed a pilot for my own reality show. I hope you all enjoy. Justin, and let me show you around on Extraordinary Animal Fun Time on how I live with some incredible animals. Like this guy here. This is a marmoset monkey, my favorite of all, unless you want to buy it. And this is my brother Pete. Oh, here Pete, you want to take it? Go ahead. Let me take your bike. Why don't I show you around with some of how I live with my animals? Don't worry about him. I bottle fed her since she was a baby. This is my iguana that I saved and rescued. He's blind in his third eye, so I call him Third Eye Blind. Someday, Third Eye Blind and I are gonna come to your house and we're gonna be seeing your animals and maybe even watching you while you sleep. Uh-oh, looks like my liger's missing. Now we're here by my African wild raven. As you can tell, I'm all geared up. Instead of me feeding this guy the pizza crust, maybe we'll get Pete to come in here. Come on, Pete. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, hey, ha! This is my rare tuxedo leopard. I, I call her Tuxedo. 
Don't worry, I bottle fed her since she was a baby. Someday we're gonna be coming to your house and we're gonna bottle feed you. Thanks for coming. We'll see you guys next time on Extraordinary time Animals We Have Fun With. Animals. My raven's making a lot of noise. <laughs>Thanks everybody for watching. I have another video I'm working on, another video that I'm writing, and lots more to come for the channel. I want to give a special shout out to Rebecca Trzeszewski. Thank you very much. If you want a special shout out, say nice things about me. And hopefully I'll see you next time when Rebecca and I fight each other. Bye!